Hey guys, just want to do a quick recap on what sound is so far we've covered. Basically, sound is a form of energy, okay? And uh, how is it being uh, produced? Produced basically by vibrating sources. Just like when you look at a loudspeaker, you actually see the inside cones actually moving, right? Okay, which we'll I'll show you in a minute, the uh, uh, a simulation based on that. And how it actually travels, it actually transmits via sound waves. Okay, we could just uh, have a look at a simple simulation on sound waves. As you know, sound is a longitudinal wave. It actually travels from left to right. And you can see certain regions here where the air particles are actually very concentrated. Yeah, in between these two regions of concentration, you can see these are regions of lower concentrated, lower concentration where the air particles are not so close, right? Okay, so if I could just uh, freeze it, okay, uh, these regions where the air particles are very concentrated is known as yep naturally just compressions that's it and regions in between where the air particles are very far apart much further apart than the compressions are known as rare factions okay and the last part that we knew about sound is that sound travels fastest in solids and slowest in gases okay now you probably know why because in solids they are very close together the air particles uh, the solid particles whereas in gases they're slowest because they are furthest apart all right okay with this we'll move to an applet the uh, similar all right so welcome to this simulation basically i'm just uh, looking at a couple of properties of sound what i have here i've got a loudspeaker somebody in front of a loudspeaker and uh, we'll hear so my sister over here, she will hear and she will report to me what kind of sound you can hear exactly what she actually hears. Alright, so the two properties that I'm going to look at are frequency and amplitude. Let's just look at amplitude first. How to increase the amplitude? Okay, observe, see what happens. Okay, two things you can observe. First, this thing actually starts to vibrate, right? It starts to move, right? Okay. And the other thing, if I observe as I increase the amplitude, it becomes, that's right, it becomes louder, right? So it becomes louder and, oh, can you see this vibration here? It's so much bigger. That means the amplitude, if I increase the amplitude, the sound gets louder, means uh, the vibration of the particle also gets bigger. So amplitude is related to the volume, right? Okay, so let's just fix this at a certain amplitude and let me just change now the frequency. Okay, what does frequency actually mean? Okay, as I increase the frequency, first thing you will hear the difference, it becomes higher pitch, right? And if I were to lower it, it becomes lower pitch. Can you hear that? I can't hear, let me increase the volume. Low pitch, high pitch, low pitch, high pitch. So the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch, the lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. And you can see another thing. Look at the vibration here. Low frequency, it vibrates at this certain rate. As I increase the frequency, can you see? It actually vibrates faster than that. Alright, so that's it for amplitude and frequency. Okay. okay, so what exactly is pitch? Okay, pitch is basically related to the frequency of a sound wave. Just now we saw the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch, right? Okay, and we recall frequency from waves is actually the number of complete waves produced per second. So, I've got a question for you. Which sound wave, A or B, actually has a lower pitch? Okay, so lower pitch, you can see, you are absolutely correct. Lower pitch will be sound A because it has a lower frequency. So frequency is related to pitch. Eh? The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. Okay, the second thing we looked at was loudness. Okay, loudness is related to the amplitude of a sound wave. Okay, that means the larger the amplitude, the louder the sound wave. Okay, recall that the amplitude of a wave is the maximum displacement of a point from its rest position okay that is basically the definition of amplitude so looking here which sound is louder sound a or sound b so to answer that that's right the guy in the corner you are absolutely right okay sound a has got a louder sound and why is that so that's right okay because the larger amplitude will have the louder sound so louder sound i see which one actually has 
larger amplitude as you can see here sound a has actually has a larger amplitude than sound b okay hope you enjoyed this video see you guys in the next